Hey there guys, today we're going to be rooting the 4.1.2 on your AT&T Skyrocket GS2. Let's get started. So to get started, go ahead and download the link in the description. It's going to give you a file that has the flashing kernel also with the Odin. So first off, to set up this, all you have to do is go ahead and open up the Odin. And of course, click yes for admin use usability. Next, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and put your phone into download mode. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and power off the phone. Wait for it to boot down. Once it's off, you can go ahead and hold down the two rocker buttons on the side and then plug in your USB device or plug it in to the computer. Keep holding it until the screen comes up, then hit the up volume. Alright, once it's in download mode, your phone or your computer should pick it up. And now what you're gonna do is go to PDA on the software, and we're going to click on the MD5 file that I'm gonna give to you, and then after that, go ahead and click start. It should take about 30 seconds to get all this into your phone. What this is gonna do, it's gonna flash the kernel to give you the accessibility to actually install custom firmwares also with super user usability. So go ahead and let it reset. Once it resets it's going to do a couple of wiping on the actual phone. Once it's done with that, it's going to go ahead and boot up the actual 4.1.2 rooted firmware. If your phone comes up into recovery mode, go ahead and just click Reboot System Now. And like I said, it's going to go ahead and load up the firmware. The first boot will be the longest, of course, just like any other custom firmware or installation. Now that it's rebooted, what I'm going to show you is that we actually have Super User, which is right there, Super User SU, and we're going to go ahead and open up Titanium Backup, which you actually need to be rooted for. And as you can see, it's going to ask if you want to deny or grant, and we're going to, of course, grant that. And as you can see, the application is running just fine because we are now rooted on our new 4.1.2 uh, Jelly Bean firmware. And just to show you, all right. We now have Jellybean 4.1.2 rooted. So if you have any questions or comments or future videos that you'd like to watch, then go ahead and comment below or PM me. I read both, and I'll see you guys next time.